I put my foot in a hole. Listen to them rocks. There's a lot of trees. Yeah. For every turn you make, there's something even more beautiful out here. So many sharp rocks sticking out. Ah! Uh. Saddling up. Thinks he's gonna need mesh gear. Like 103 degrees out. <laughs> yeah, his, his rally's ready to go. Hey, we gotta get dialed in before we hit the trail. Well, it's the famous KTM wind buffeting. The old wind buffeting story. That should be good. Okay. I down because I thought for off road I would get more ventilation. All right, leaving the hotel. Going to section one. It's gonna be awesome, man. A little bit of slab and then we'll hit some dirt. It's gonna be such a nice ride. The weather's perfect. It's gonna be like 81 today. Can't wait to hit the dirt. All right, there's a couple up here riding two up. Awesome. Got a ride right back here. Stay on the right side, watch out for the, all the overlanders. Those guys went two up through here, I'm impressed. lose a mirror by the end of this trip. Well, it looks like we missed a lot of the mud bogs. If it's open, leave it open. If it's closed, you gotta close it. Forest rip. Yeah. Whoa, Nelly.
Hey, cows, move. Oh, look at the cute little calf. What's up, cow cows? Hi, babies. Thankfully, there's no charging bowl. Right. The only charging bowl is these KTMs. Nice little reservoir down there. People fishing. Just in case some of you are wondering, I'm running the Motaz tires on this trip. The, um, on the front, I'm running the Motaz Dual Venture tubeless, running at about 31 PSI. And on the rear, I'm running the Motaz Rowls, or Rowl Z, however you want to pronounce it. Running that one at about 28 PSI. And that one is also tubeless. That tire pressure combination seems to be working pretty good right now. We've hit a bunch of different obstacles and Seems to be almost a sweet spot for the tubeless setup. It's always nice to roll up to something like this. Yeah. There's a lot of trees. Yeah. Well, that's going to be interesting, Jeff. Well, I, maybe you should, I should send you through first as a scout. Like full speed? Like full speed ahead, like fifth gear. Yeah. That that could be a little deep. It could be. Could go on that left side there. Yeah, you can, and you can like at least yeah, touch on the, my left, maybe. Exactly. I don't see any tracks coming through here, so it's kind of hard to tell if anybody did it yet. Well, those bikers, they all are coming the same way from this morning. See this trail going through here? Yeah, this is the this is the route. I don't, no, I don't think we could fit through this trail. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, no, not with, no. Well, I guess I'm gonna kind of go through this way and then um, All right. I'll video you coming through. I hope you got that on film. Awesome. Ah, I put my foot in a hole. That was the easy part. So we just finished section one of the Colorado BDR. This is a little rest stop they have here at the bottom. Some other KTMs pulling out. It husband wife combination there. I had to stop and show you guys this water and the mountains. So beautiful. Section one was really good. We had a good time. Uh, some challenges on there and some of the expert sections, but we got through it. A lot of mud, which was super fun. And uh, yeah, can't wait to hit up section two. Yeah. We decided to take a detour down in Telluride before hitting up Ophir Pass to get some food. We ended up going to La Casina de Luz. That place is awesome. I totally recommend you checking it out when you're in the Telluride area place has great food. The 
bottom of the Orford Pass. Ian's leading the way. rocks. That ain't no joke. Oh man. Holy shit! <laughs> you just gotta keep it going. That ain't no joke. No, it's no joke, right? It's just don't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that lady was trying to go up and on that street bike. On a street bike, yeah, with the street tires. I can't believe I came down this on a V storm with street tires. Dude, you're a man. You're an animal. Just made it up Orfear Pass, and I gotta say that was one of the funnest, hardest, sketchiest rides I've ever been on. I totally recommend everyone to try it. I don't know about doing it on big bikes unless you have some mad skills. One mistake and you're done. Luckily, I had a good run at it. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. You can see the rocks over there. Just sliding down the hill like tiles on a roof. I mean, as you're coming up that hill, you are slipping and sliding. You don't know, you just have to trust yourself. Don't look down, look ahead. Choose your path wisely the best you can and uh, pray. That was awesome. I would totally do it again. This has got to be one of the most beautiful places in America. So awesome up here. So we just left Orford Pass and we are heading down the hill to try to find somewhere to camp. We didn't make reservations so we're basically going to be winging it. We'll find something, uh, probably KOA, or if that doesn't work, we'll pirate camp. But being that it's Labor Day weekend, everything's pretty packed. Rolled into KOA a few minutes ago, and we lucked out, and we got the last spot. This place is packed. Um, we got a pretty good spot by the horses over here in the corner. The bike's super nice out here. It's going to be a great night. 
getting ready to set up camp and uh, we'll show you what we got all right day one almost in the books got everything set up got the nice sweet set up in here big Agnes all my junk all our stuff on the table getting ready for tomorrow charging stuff food it's a nice campground super quiet bunch of kids Jeff's about to make uh, make everyone dinner yeah famous ramen bombs on the uh, itinerary tonight really low sodium these ones yeah low sodium and you got top ramen that's low sodium of course Oh, this shot's for my wife. She loves cliffs. She's a professional free faller and bungee jumper. She's gonna love this. Oh, I recognize this turn. 